Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. China mourns little Yu Yu, the toddler who was run over twice by vans and then ignored by passers-by on a busy market street, has died. The two-year-old died shortly after midnight of brain and organ failure. Yu Yu's week-long battle for life came to symbolise what many Chinese see as a decay of morals. Police have detained the drivers of both vans on suspicion of causing a traffic accident. The Libyan Prime Minister has said ousted dictator Muammar Gaddafi was shot in the head when he became caught in crossfire between revolutionaries and loyalists. Huge celebrations are continuing across the country following the killing of the former dictator. Meanwhile, Libyans around the world, including here in Ireland, have celebrated the events of the past 24 hours. Dr. Fahim Bokhatwa from the Libyan Society in Ireland says he and his fellow nationals now hope to return home. A lot of people will be returning over the next couple of years. Um, I know many people who have left Libya for the last 40 years, men like myself and many others. They have commitments, they have children who grew up here, who they're, they're going to be take a little while to re-plan and go back. Barack Obama has spoken of his pride at what Libyan people had achieved with the help of the US and its allies. I think they've got an enormous opportunity ahead of them. They've got a lot of challenges as well, but uh, we have now given them the opportunity to determine their own destiny. Get out now. Thailand's Prime Minister has warned residents of Bangkok to move their processions up to higher levels as floodwaters finally begin seeping into the city's residential areas. Authorities have admitted that they can't hold back the huge volume of water heading for the city. They've opened up floodgates to let it drain to the sea through the capital's canal system. No way. A medical expert has dismissed a key defence claim in the trial of Michael Jackson's doc, Conrad Murray. Dr Stephen Schaefer has told the LA court there's no way Michael Jackson could have caused his own death by swallowing the powerful anaesthetic propofol. He said it's impossible for the drug to enter the bloodstream in any sizable amount if it's swallowed, and the possibility of the pop star injecting himself with the drug was highly unlikely. A delicate operation. Salvage crews continuing the desperate attempt to pump oil from a stricken ship stranded off the coast of New Zealand say the operation is highly complex. Crews have resumed pumping after a three-day break due to bad weather and rough seas. The ship has been stuck on a reef near Taranga Harbour since October the 5th and has spilled hundreds of tonnes of oil into the ocean. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five... At number five, this guy's a flipping good skateboarder. At number four, most people aren't really awake for breakfast TV, even the guests. Hey, good morning, Harry. Harry, wake up. Harry? Yeah? Yes, wake up, wake up. Okay. <laughs> this is your wake up call, Harry. There's nothing. Okay, um, I'll tell you what. Whoa. At number three, don't you hate when someone won't let you play? Actually, that ball's a bit big for me, I'm off. <laughs> At number two, how to ignore a marriage proposal lesson one, pretend you don't hear them. I am so happy. I'm going to propose to my girlfriend on national TV. Yes. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? And number one today, it's your big chance to impress Beyonce with your rendition of her song and... <laughs> Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie and Paul will be here with all the sport. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.